Hi there, Rob back and another drawing method. Uh, we're going to do the Pathfinder divide method. Uh, this uses a an extra panel found under the window menu called the Pathfinder. And we're only going to use one of the buttons here. It's this one in the bottom left hand corner called divide. And it's a really handy tool for doing fashion garment shapes because essentially you can draw the outline and then use other lines to divide that outline into separate panels which you can use for stitching, colour or just general design. As you get further into doing your technical drawings you'll really see the benefit of this method and the previous method of drawing from uh, an existing segment here because it can help you do multi-layer documents with lots of different changes, so extra stitching, uh, colour and things like that. As I said before, it will become more apparent as to how useful this is once you get more experienced. For the moment, we'll just get in and give it a go. So what I'm going to do is use this existing sleeve coming off this body shape uh, and I'm going to make a cuff for the end of the sleeve. Now, the easy way is to go and grab the line segment tool. Now this is slightly different to the pen tool it just draws a single straight line segment and it's a click and drag option so if I click and drag a line across there I'll try and get it parallel to the end of the sleeve and I don't need to stay within the lines once I'm happy with that I let go and this is a feature of the line segment tool you click and drag it draws a single line segment and I'm going to use my arrow keys on my keyboard just to move that segment up and down it's already nicely selected for me and I can get the right size of collar, sorry, cuff to fit in there. Once I'm happy with that, ready to go. So this is how the tool works. Uh, we go back and grab our selection tool <coughs> and I need to select both of those objects. So the sleeve below, I can either shift click, shift click onto the line or I can drag a selection area across those two objects as long as there's nothing else underneath it'll select those two I can check in my layers panel just to see they're selected and then click on the Pathfinder divide button there we go so what's happened is the tool has trimmed off the edges of the line and it's actually divided that whole sleeve shape into two separate parts and if I look at my layers panel you can see that I've got this group here and if I open that up it's made of my original top half of the sleeve and the cuff and these again are perfectly matched together by the dividing line there I can keep them in the group so I could call that group the sleeve and then label both parts of that so that will be the upper sleeve and then label that as the cuff and then I've got an entire sleeve there and I've got parts cuff and sleeve there so it's just a case of having a complete shape and having a complete shape is very important because if I come over to the other side and I'll just lock everything to start with uh, if I show you what happens when you don't have a complete shape, so if I just drew from here down to here, bottom of the sleeve and across and up, so that looks right, you know, absolutely fine, no problem there, nice shape. Uh, just to show that it is just those ends, the problem comes from when I draw my line to make my cuff and then select both of my objects. Now if I use the Pathfinder Divide tool, ah, problem. I do get my cuff there. It is completely invisible until I apply some kind of line to it. The reason for that is, and I'll just go back a couple of steps, this is not a com complete shape, this sleeve. It's not a closed shape. So because it's got these two open ends, here then the two shapes will divide based on where this line is and it'll only leave the complete shape inside here where my mouse pointer is 
if I wanted to make that a complete shape, I could just use my pen tool, click on the first point there, click on the second point to close it, and now I can copy, sorry, I can select both shapes, divide them, and it works. Of course, this line looks terrible compared to my new bodice, but that is how you need to do the Pathfinder Divide tool. You need to have a complete closed shape and then any shape that you uh, that you divide or want to divide with it, even something nice like a circle. Like that. I can quickly go and draw a shape through it. And that's a V shape. It'll actually divide this into three parts. And there we go, I have a nice semi-basketball logo that I can quickly add a few bits and pieces into. Like that. Oh, might have to actually pick the colour itself. And there we go, nicely sliced up. So one complete shape a line on top to divide it. The line needs to overlap the edges ideally to get a nice clean cut. Use the Pathfinder Divide tool and you can chop something up quite nicely.